Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing an exciting review tutorial and trial of the brand new Fenty Beauty products. So I will be trying the brand new Fenty Beauty What It Do Refreshing Spray. Now this product can be used for multiple purposes and I will be showing you all of those purposes in this video so keep on watching. I will also be showing, trying and telling you guys a little bit more about the new gloss bomb in the shade Hot Chocolate. I have it on my lips and I am absolutely loving it, I have to say that just now. So please do keep on watching to see the full tutorial and I hope you guys do like this video and don't forget to like and subscribe. So I have went in and done my eyes and my eyebrows, so now it's just straight into the face prep. Now before I do get into the video, I am just going to read a little bit more about the description of the product, um, just so that we can see exactly what it says about it, what how to use it, what it's used for. The Fenty Beauty What It Do Makeup Refreshing Spray. So it's a super fine hydrating mist that can be used under makeup for foundation prep or over makeup to instantly revitalise and refresh skin throughout the day. It can be used before, during or after makeup. So I'm going to use it before, during and after makeup and see how it works. It says like a makeup boosting moisturiser in a bottle, this super fine mist instantly revives skin with the hydration it needs to look and feel its best. Uh, made with a complex of herbal extracts like borage and cornflour which are known to help hydrate skin. What it does, a lightweight formula, absorbs quickly without feeling sticky, leaving nothing but a natural dewy glow that all skin types will love. Now it says that you can use this however, so apply it before makeup to hydrate and prep the skin, during foundation application for the most effortless blending, or after makeup and throughout the day for a quick hydration fix anytime, anywhere. As you can see now, I literally have nothing on my skin, so I'm going to spray it and see how it looks, see if it... I don't know, maybe it leaves a glow or a shine or whatever. I just love the bottle that this comes in as well, like, I don't know what it is. It's just so nice and clear. It just looks like it's so, like, refreshing. Right, so it says shake well, so let's give it a shake. Let's spray this and see. Alright, okay, I need to get it going first. Okay. That smells amazing. Is it like going on and I'm just not realising? What's going on? Don't know if I'm spraying this properly or not. Okay, that's it. So firstly, it smells absolutely amazing. I don't know what it is, like see when you're spraying it, it almost feels like nothing's coming out. But it is. It, like it's so fine, like Usually setting sprays like you spray it and like you can feel it coming out, like you can feel it coming onto your face. This one I feel like it was just so fine and I couldn't tell whether it was actually coming out or not so I was like spraying it more and I was like is anything happening? So definitely, definitely is what it says already, a fine mist. I don't think you can really see any difference just now, however I do feel that it it's maybe picked my skin up a little bit before I was, before I did have anything on my skin, my skin was feeling quite dry and I feel like it's almost lifted it, it doesn't actually feel as dry anymore. I'm going to go in with foundation now. I have my Fenty Beauty sponge, I'm going to get the mist and spray it on here. So this will literally be how I'm applying my foundation today, so let's see. See, look how that just comes out, it's just so fine, it's not like thick bits of water that are coming out, it is so so fine. I'm going to spray a little bit more and I'm now just going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation um, and this is the shade 310. I do feel like it's blending quite nicely. I am just going to spray a little bit now on top of the sponge. So I do feel like it's blended in the foundation really, really nicely. It's definitely blended it all very nice um, and seamlessly. Now my sponge does feel a little bit dry, so I am just going to spray some more. And I'm going to go in and do my concealer now. So I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Concealer, Pro Filter Concealer, um, in shade 280. Oh, 
Okay, so I kind of feel that that's blended really nicely. I almost feel like the spray is helping it blend in more seamlessly. It almost feels like I'm not having to blend in too much. And I'm now just going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Truffle. Just going to blend this all in. Okay, so I'm quite happy how that has all come together. I think it's blended really, really nicely. Even with the contour, I feel like it's just blended so nice and smoothly together. Um, I am just going to put the powder on now. So of course, I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty setting powder. Now it is a little bit dirty, guys. Um, it shows how much I use it. Now this is the Pro Filter um, setting powder in the shade Banana. Um, I've also got the shade Honey as well, so I'm just going to use both in certain areas. Now just while I've got the powder on there, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Fill Frontal Mascara. So as you can see I've completed the mascara and just under my eyes use the same shades that I use on top from the Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice palette. I'm just going to go in with the Fenty Beauty bronzer and this is in the shade Coco Naughty. So guys, just quickly, I feel like some of the video may have been cut off so I'm just going to give a quick recap. The Refreshing Mist Spray absolutely loved it. I am going to see how it goes throughout the day. I'm going to see if I do feel like I need to have a little pick me up with my makeup, if I feel like anything needs a little refresh. I am going to try this spray and see how it works, see if it does look brand new like I've just done my makeup. The gloss bomb itself, I absolutely loved this gloss bomb. I am not a glossy girl so I usually just use matte lipsticks. However, Using the Huda Beauty Spice Girl lip liner underneath this and then using the gloss bomb on top I feel I, I feel like I'm in love with it. I feel like I'm now a gloss girl. The smell of this Gloss bomb as well. It's peach and and peach enriched and um, so literally smells absolutely amazing I cannot stop smelling it. It is also enriched with shea butter so that'll obviously keep your lips um, hydrated and smooth so yeah, so that is my review and my thoughts on those two products. If you have tried the products yourself, then let me know in the comment section below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, then leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.